Ganda talaga ng hangin sa part na to. Okay. Already comes with a screen too. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Gabi na eh. Kita, puro reflection na talaga yung windows. But rest assured, during the daytime, super liwanag dito. Today we have a brand new house and lot for sale. Hi! Okay, Kitty's gonna join us. And this house is near Katipunan in Quezon City. But first, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Presello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another Presello open house tour. Yes, I know. So it's a very exciting house tour. Kitty agrees. Because just look at this one. It's about to um na magdilim, but you can tell that the lights themselves are gonna carry this house. It looks gorgeous day or night. So here on the left portion of the house you have your gate, which will lead you to your four vehicle carport, but we're gonna go through the main entrance or the pedestrian entrance. So just two three steps up and you'll be able to go to the Main entrance. Again, this is a brand new house, so there are going to be certain areas that are not yet such as that wall. But you get an idea of how the house will look like. So let's check out the four vehicle carport. This one can fit four full sized SUVs. So any smaller, obviously, it's going to be more spacious, but if you decide to fit a van or, again, as I mentioned, a full sized SUV, no problem. The flooring is very interesting. Please excuse the construction materials and the paint splatters. <laughs> Those are going to go away, don't worry. But yeah, the floor is very interesting. You have cement, but you also have grass in between for traction. And then you have a door that will lead you. Just, just remember the door. We'll, we'll get to that in a bit. And then over here on the left side, you have a staff quarters as well as access to the back. So your staff quarters does have an ensuite, toilet and bath. Okay, let's go through the main entrance. <laughs> The kitty is still out there, waiting for us. Okay, so over here we have a massive door with vertical slats. So it's solid wooden door and then the handle is just a nice round matte black steel handle. Which goes really well with this wall. I mean, just look at it. It's nice and textured. You have a wall sconce to emphasize the texture. And it's just mm, chef's kiss. Okay, so when you open your main entrance, this is what will welcome you. Let me just open this. Uh, by the way, because this door is super big, um, it uses a pivot hinge, which... Hello? I don't know who you see that. I don't know who But yeah, it's not that much big of a space, so... It's not that big of a space, but yeah, it's a pivot hinge. Okay, so this is the living area and you have a view of your stairs. And look at this detail. So the top part is solid wood. You have some detail over here. And then the underside is just cement. It's just cement and you can see it there and there. And it just looks so clean and very minimalist while still retaining texture and looks visually interesting. Okay, now enough about the main stairs. We're gonna go through that. Just keep that in mind for now. I'm looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> Hello. So your living area has really high ceiling. And speaking of the ceiling, you have wooden accent in the middle, as well as down lights. So you would think, no, now, okay, apat na set ng down lights or basically four light bulbs. You would think na kulang ng ila, but no, it's quite bright in here. 
Then you have an accent wall made out of the bare cement finish. And then you can see the I-beams, the structural beams. So instead of hiding it, they, uh, they used it as a design element for the house. And that's why it looks super industrial. The windows as well, so those are fixed. And it looks just really clean because there are no jams. Or at least yung jams, hindi masyadong halata. Meron naman, syempre. Hindi pwedeng wala. But it's not uh, in the way of your view. So, nakat nasa gilid lang siya and behind the wooden beams. So, very smart. It just looks like glass, period. Okay. Here you have some vertical windows so you can see your four vehicle carport. And then from the living area, you have some space under the stairs. You have access to your elevator and your daily kitchen. So you have your sink. Actually, it's more of a service area than a daily kitchen. It's yours. It's your, you have a sink, you have some space over here. And then this is the staff quarters with an all suite toilet and bath over there, which is the door is louvered. Okay, nice. And then in here, you have access to the outdoor service area. So I'm not gonna step on this too much since kakaulan lang, but this is where you would put your washing machines since it's still covered and all of the provisions are there the, um, the water source, the outlet, etc. And then it's up to you where you want to put your cold line. It's probably gonna be on this side. Okay, let's go back in. Okay, so now this door will take you back out to your four vehicle carport. So, if you were to bring the groceries in, but that is not your formal kitchen. That is gonna be upstairs, which we will be heading to now. Also, the lights really emphasize how nice the texture of the wood is. Okay, so some areas are gonna be dark like this one, because there's no light, but there's no of course. Okay, so here on the second floor, it's nice and open. You can peer down the living area. But the second floor, though, is also part of your living space. So, it's a leaf. <laughs> so this general area is gonna be your dining. But not just your dining table, because you do have a lot of space. So, pwede namang sa mga gilid, like this one, for example. You can have a console table over here. So you can put a TV or maybe an artwork, a massive artwork. It's up to you. Pero may mga outlets naman eh. So you have the freedom to, to decorate <clears throat> or arrange the layout to your liking. So if that's where the dining table is, this is where the formal kitchen is. So you have your sinks, plural, kasi <laughs> And then you have an L-shaped counter, of course, with storage underneath. Provision for your oven, oven, and then Generally, this is where you would put your refrigerator. Somewhere here. Here, probably. And then, this is the guest powder room with your sink and your toilet. And right next to that, we have the storeroom, which is currently storing some of the construction materials, as well as some pumps and breakers. Okay. So, from here, we have sliding doors that will lead you to the balcony. So this balcony spans from all the way to the back of the house to the front. So in basically, an entire side of the house. And just look at that. You have trees and you have mountains over there. So that's what's nice about this part of you know, Quezon City. Gilead border. <laughs> hey, and okay, you have a lot of trees. Basically, the Katipunan area, right? The LGV area. This isn't LGV, but like this general area. Ooh, it lit up. So, yeah, you have trees, you have fresher air, you can see the mountains, you can see the river. And now we can see the elevator. <laughs> So we are gonna head up the second, oh sorry, correction, we're on the second floor right now. We're gonna head up the third floor and I am going to take the elevator. And I will see you there. Wow, so reflective. All right, third floor, we'll just 
Wait for it to close. Alright. So here on the third floor, so obviously you came from the stairs, and from the stairs, what will immediately greet you is the office. So we have sliding doors, and then wood for your flooring and for your ceiling. And it's just, wow, it looks so nice, especially with the windows like this, you have a panoramic window. But you can open either side to let the air in. And your view is basically tops of trees, sky, and mountain. This is going to make for a really nice office. And then on either side, you have doors. So let's go to this one first. And here we have bedroom number one. So we have this much space. This, is, this window is at the front of the property. So again, you have a view of the mountain range. You have some gorgeous views of some bridges. And then this Actually, you know, and you know, it depends where you want to put your bed. You can put it here, you can put it there. You have a lot of space to work with. You can even put it on this side, I guess, if you wanted to. And then here you have the walk-in closet. Oh, that ceiling is interesting. So you have shadow gaps, and then you have pin lights. And then you have all of this storage for your wardrobe. And of course, being the master bedroom, I forgot to mention that it was the master bedroom. You have your his and hers sinks complete with the lit, literally lit <laughs> mirror, mirrors. And then your partially enclosed shower space with a uh, rain shower as well as your toilet on the other side. I also appreciate that usually the doors are nice and solid, right? But the one for the walk-in closet and the toilet and bath, or the ensuite basically, is louvered for ventilation. Okay, now across the master bedroom, we have bedroom number two. So you have this much space. Again, you have a lot of windows that let you see your neighborhood, your lovely neighborhood. This time though, the ceiling does not have shadow gaps. Instead, it has a cornice in black. That is an interesting uh, choice. But it still looks cohesive. So in, then in here we have the walk-in closet. So you have storage on the left, a oh, correction on the right, as well as on this side. Some shelving here, and then this is where the ensuite is. So you have your sink, your partially enclosed shower space, this time with a round rain shower, canina square, and then you have your toilet over here. The jams are really nice. Okay, so that is it for the third floor. You only have two rooms and then the office, which is perfect. Now we are on going to the fourth floor. All right, the final floor, the fourth floor. You still have high ceiling. This is your elevator landing. And from here, my goodness, I feel so dwarfed by the doors. They're so high. Okay, so anyway, from the elevator, you have two doors. Let's go to this one first. And this is bedroom number three. So you have your built-in wardrobe, this much space. And then the ensuite is over here. We have your sink, your toilet, and your partially enclosed shower space with a circular rain shower. May abandon dito for what have you. <laughs> and then over here we have bedroom number four. So we have windows on two sides. You can open these up really well. Also, all the windows come with this special kind of screen. So if you do decide to open them up, don't worry about it, you already have the screen. And then here you have the ensuite, toilet and bath. We have a sink, water closet, 
and partially enclosed shower space. Now it's nice that the rain shower is, is there and it's also nice that you have the telephone type because it's super high, like the ceiling is really high so it's nice that you can have that to be able to reach and shower how you want to. <laughs> Telephone shower lang naman yung sinabi ko, hindi ako Okay, so you have a nook over here. Um, you could definitely put a kitchenette since you are at the top floor. So maybe a nice built-in uh, kitchenette or just any of those ready, readily available furniture that you can put your uh, mini fridge or a mini bar. That would be pretty interesting. Or just to place art to you. That is the cap following us inside the house. Okay, so this is bedroom number five. This room though, this room is really nice because you have, again, a view of the mountains and you're at the top floor, so you have full view of that. You can see the bridges, the mountains, the trees, the clouds, and it's the same for this one. And this is the walk-in closet slash ensuite with your wardrobe space, your sink, your partially enclosed shower space and the uh, toilet. So basically, the master bedroom is the only one with the square shower, a uh, rain shower, shower head. <laughs> and then over here, we have bedroom number six. So only one side of the room has windows, but you have three really big windows, and all of them look like paintings just because of that view. So imagine just lying here, having that view. Oh, beautiful. I keep looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> Then over here we have the ensuite with your wardrobe here on the left side behind the door, your sink, your toilet, and your partially enclosed shower space. And again, all of them have the rain shower and the telephone shower. Okay, that is it. Also, you have your air conditioning units already installed and included. So that is it. One more look at that ceiling. So that is what will... Um, Magandang accent for your main stairs, and may abang siya, just in case hindi halata because of the wood. So it's up to you if you want to put a chandelier in there. Okay, it is now time for a recap. Okay, so let me stand right here by the gorgeous kitchen and in front of the dining area. So you have 204 square meters of lot area, and then 514. 0.50 square meters of floor area distributed between four levels or four stories. You have six bedrooms, all with an ensuite toilet and bath, an office or den. You have male and female staff quarters. You have a four vehicle carport, which will fit four full sized SUVs. So it's going to be pretty spacious. And uh, you have a powder room here on the second floor for guests. And of course, since you have four stories, you have an elevator. And all of this is inside an exclusive subdivision near Katipunan in Quezon City. So if you're anyone you know is interested in a place like this, send this video to them. Or if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message. Or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs> I know. I know.